What is Tapu Koko? An excellent question. A few days before this Pokemon's looks were revealed, I posted a video which talked about the name meaning of Tapu Koko, and it's deep, and falls into many other themes throughout the rest of Sun and Moon. That being many references to alchemy and Azoth. Azoth being the life energy, the soul. In Pokemon, it's called infinity energy. So here's that bit of the video. During the E3 presentation, we learned that in Alola, they have a festival to honor a deity named Tapu Koko. One of the presenters said that while she can't give us any details, we should pay attention to that name because it's very important. And so I did some digging and I've gotten a translation. And I've seen plenty of other fans who have translated it and came to the conclusion that it means sacred place or God's blood and my personal favorite, Spirit Gorilla. <laughs> Spirit Gorilla. I love it. When it comes to translation, there are often multiple things you could translate it to because these words are in multiple languages and even within those languages they can have multiple meanings. But if you translate in the context of all of this, <laughs> I now have the answer. Tapu is Polynesian, which is this area, so Hawaii is in there. And Koko is just Hawaiian. Tapu means spiritually forbidden or taboo. When something is seen as wrong just because a god tells you it's wrong. This description fits alchemy perfectly, especially during its modern rise in the 1800s. Alchemy was frowned upon greatly because the Bible, among other religious texts, tell us that spiritism and the occult are terrible things. But what of Coco then? Its translation from Hawaiian to English is interesting. It means blood, but not our physical blood. Rather, it's referring to a sort of spiritual blood that runs through our spiritual umbilical cords that attach us to the spirits of our ancestors and the gods. So Tapu Koko is a spiritually forbidden connection to the gods. The alchemic goal of the Tree of Life and the Azoth. And now we have this. This is what the Pokemon Tapu Koko looks like. Like the bird-like top of a totem pole. There are Hawaiian totem poles. And we know that since Tapu Koko is the guardian of this one island, there will likely be three more, and likely they will all stack. Tapu Koko just happens to be on the top. It's the guardian of Mili Mili Island, and is very, very yellow. And Mili Mili is Hawaiian for yellow, so it all fits very well. But now, how does this thing equate to a spiritually forbidden connection to the gods? Well, look at it. It's very tribal looking. It's orange skirt thing, it's tattooish markings. Its shields resemble tribal masks, which more often than not were designed after the faces of the gods or great spirits. When performing rituals to honor the gods, many Polynesians, as well as all kinds of various tribal cultures, would dance around a fire in their colored grass skirts, painted designs on their skin, and would carry around huge masks in order to gain that connection to their gods, to honor them. While the meaning of Tapu here doesn't exactly fit into this Pokemon's design, Coco fits beautifully. So why is Tapu here then? Well, maybe it does fit in from someone else's perspective, the Western world, where most of alchemy took place. The West historically has always seen such tribal behavior as primitive and taboo, just like alchemy. Also, we don't yet know Tapu Koko's personality in the game, but we can speculate. We know it's the guardian of Mili Mili Island, the protector, and we can see that by the way it moves, it's very rhythmic, referencing tribal dances. Likely, this Pokemon wants to protect the island by enforcing rules, which is a branch of what Tapu means. Tapu not only means something that is spiritually forbidden, but also it refers to spiritual rules. And Tapu Koko may be wanting to enforce said rules in order to protect its island. But how does this all fit into the grand scheme of the Pokemon franchise? Well, I explain all of that right here, and I implore you to check out my favorite video of mine yet. And until next time, you stay awesome and never stop using that noggin.